Uh, the one question that came in is, does anyone know compared to cattle in horse manure is weed viability greater or smaller? So horse com compared to cattle. All right, let me, let me tackle that. And it's a great reminder because I should have mentioned it in my presentation. I talked about ruminants and their four stomachs and the gizzard of the poultry system. But what about the monogastrics? What about those guys? Um, and I just meant to mention on there that it's very similar to the ruminant. So having four stomachs doesn't really give you a leg up over the um, horse, sheep, pig type thing. So they also had about 25% viable seed remaining of the very small, tiny, hard-coated broadleaf seeds and about six to 10, I believe, percent viability of those larger weed seeds in the horse manure. Did you, any of you have any thoughts as you listen to the other presentations, um, things that you thought of that you missed or things that you get asked on a regular basis? Uh, one thing I was thinking about and I meant to mention is when Stephanie was talking about poultry litter and it doesn't seem like maybe weed seeds coming out. Um, one of the ways that the Palmer amaranth has spread in Minnesota they actually like did trace it to contaminated feed, which was fed to cattle, which was put on a field. Um, so they actually do think that, you know, not all manure is equal in killing weed seeds, unfortunately. So it seems like some of the cattle, especially, um, seem to have more um, viability going through the gut. Uh, it says, the other question I've seen so far is, have any other methods been tested besides composting or anaerobic digestion for eradicating weed seeds? I'll tackle that one again. Yes, um, anaerobic digestion, anaerobic conditions in general. Um, if you don't have that heat of higher than 140 degrees Fahrenheit, it's really not going to kill those, those tough to kill seeds. Um, the larger grass seeds, you might get a little bit of um, seed mortality there, but um, you, you really need that heat that anaerobic digestion doesn't always provide to kill the harder to kill seeds. There are other methods out there that maybe might be a little less practical. You know, um, you hear about you know using a hammer mill on all the feed to try to destroy the seeds. And whether that's that's uh, a feasible thing for people, especially using sunflower screenings that are you know a low cost feed to begin with, you know what's that going to do to the whole system of that is something I don't even want to get into. But you know there's there's ideas, there's ways out there, there's there's things that people are thinking about um, all the time, and some of them have have more efficacy than others. You mentioned the hammer mill, and it makes me wonder. I suppose it depends a lot on the size of the seed too. Uh, with Palmer, where it's so small, that would have to be such a tiny little hammer mill. Uh, in order, it'd be more like a mortar and pestle, you know, like you get at the find at the pharmacy, <laughs> like to try yeah. and smash something that small uh, <laughs> to break that viability. Yeah, and once again, there's always going to be escapes. Yes. Yes. I had a question for, and we often get this, Stephanie, do you think it was the nitrogen? Because you said the high nitrogen fertilizer treatment seemed to have a lot of weeds too. Yeah, so in hindsight, I do think that in the field, it was just the soil, which was shown by our autoclaving of the soil that that reduced the viable weeds. Um, so, so yeah, I think it was just the nitrogen allowed uh, those those weeds to germinate or maybe triggered germination in some of those weeds. Um, and we saw it particular, you know, your mind is like, oh, there's definitely a difference. And, and as scientists, we all know, sometimes we see things and it doesn't necessarily play out on paper that it's actually greater. Um, and so statistically speaking, there likely weren't more weed seeds in the poultry litter treatments. It was more that, you know, that's where your mind wants to go. And so I fell into that same trap of, oh, I think this is the poultry litter. And it wasn't. It was the soil. I know I, for myself, I've thought this in the past, like the, the reason that I thought poultry litter maybe wasn't a bigger issue is because it is so hot, so to speak. So it's like so nutrient rich that that's why the weeds didn't grow there. So it's interesting to to hear the perspective of the gizzard 
because it's not something that I think about on a regular basis, but it makes total sense. It's like the hammer mill idea, like you're grinding that up so it can't be viable. So that's great. Well, if you have questions, I know the speaker's contact information is on the flyer. You can find that on our website. So if you want to contact them directly, you're welcome to do that.